Orlando, home to some of the best theme parks in the world, and one is proud to offer new experiences for guests with autism. At Discovery Cove, it's more of an intimate environment with animal interactions. Morning anchor Kirsten O'Connor wanted to check out what the resort had to offer. So she took along a few friends as they found out dolphins have a way to get results for your health. It's very important. It's very sensory. Yes, yes. I call them those autism moments. Marisa Sands and her grandson Santiago are trying out some of the new experiences at Discovery Cove focusing on kids with autism, plus swimming with dolphins. It's the first time that he's going to be so close to them. I am waiting to see him. The Animal Interaction Park just became the first in the country to be recognized as a certified autism center. So New Six brought some of our friends to test it out. <laughs> we met Santiago's Family Center for Autism and the animated YouTube Go-Go Brothers last year. The first experience for the brothers, Simon the Anteater. He's, he's are so interesting. You guys can touch him on his back. Oh my feel goodness, soft? it feels Does so good. Feel rough? In a separate quiet cabana, Santiago meets Clementine. We're going to touch to five. The armadillo. You ready? <laughs> no. The next step? I'm going to be down there with you guys. Snorkeling with 180 sea life species. They can go to whatever their comfort level is out here, and you will be surrounded by fish. I just went in the water, and there was some kind of fish rays, and there was a big ray I just saw. And from rays to flippers, side by side, the boys walk into the dolphin lagoon. It's a one-of-a-kind experience. He does amazing tricks. So what was it like to see your sons doing that? Oh, I can't <laughs> It was unbelievable to see them so happy and come over their fears. It was when he kissed that dolphin. It was unbelievable. That understanding, maybe he will not be able to touch him, maybe he will not be able, but let's try. And that's what happened here, and that's why it was a great experience. It, it's a big day for, for all of us. That's awesome. Kirsten O'Connor joins us now, and the day you shot this story, I mean, you could just feel the joy. Oh, all of us could. My yeah. photographer, who we know here fondly as Goose, uh, James <laughs> yes. Goslin, was... <laughs> Uh, saying it was really dusty out there, uh, Discovery <laughs> Cove, but really there wasn't a dry eye uh, around all of all of the trainers. Everybody was feeling um, that moment because we really didn't know if Santiago was going to be able to do mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. dolphin encounter and enjoy it. And as soon as he got in the water, just as we thought, because mm -hmm. he loves swimming, that's his thing. Yeah. We met him while he was swimming and learning um, you know, his lessons at uh, Goldfish Swim Academy, and it was great to see him enjoying and thriving with the dolphins there. And those animals, it's just like, especially dolphins, it's just like they have such a connection with humans and can really read what people mm -hmm. need. Well, and it, they took the time. I think mm -hmm. that's the most important part that you heard from Santiago's grandmother there, that it was about patience and understanding that maybe it wasn't going to work, but mm. let's try. Mm -hmm. And that's what they did. They just took extra time. And I think the dolphins took extra time, yes. too, mm -hmm. in the water and swimming around. One thing I didn't get to mention in the story that I wanted to bring up with you um, is that parents have the opportunity to look through this sensory guide um, mm. because the IBCCES put this together mm -hmm. as a part mm -hmm. of the autism certification. And we have a couple of pictures up here for you to see on your screen. But um, each one of the attractions at Discovery Cove is rated 1 to 10, and you can see it's touch, taste, sound, smell, sight, so that parents who have children with autism or children with any disabilities can look through and say, oh, you know what, Sea Venture is going to be great for my child right. because mm -hmm. I know that they're going to love to be under the water. Or, you know, I want to go to the aviary, mm -hmm. aviary with all of the birds because that's away from the sand, and mm -hmm. anything tactile like that is a part of that touch category. So I think that's very helpful and something with planning purposes. And like, so if you want to go, you know, maybe you have a child with sensory needs and some that, you know, can go ahead and go any day. Do you need to plan ahead a lot, you know, a lot of time ahead or do you need to call ahead? How does that work? I think as long as you uh, make that phone call and let 
the hosts know that you're coming and that you're excited, um, they will guide you through the whole process. Every parent has the opportunity to look through the sensory guide, um, and they just want to make sure that everyone knows they're welcome. That's awesome. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we always love seeing yeah. the Go-Go Brothers. Oh, yes. The Go-Go Brothers <laughs> really steal the show, <laughs> don't they? Really they? Do. They've they just really got really that do. energy. Yeah. And uh, it was awesome to see, you know, the younger one has spina bifida and mm -hmm. has had some trouble with swimming lessons. So it was also great to see that he got in and rode the dolphin yes. um, through the whole thing. He was very nervous about it, <laughs> but they had a great time. Yes. Everyone. Wonderful. What a great experience to also bring them back and, and do something like this with them. That's yeah. a great story. Thank yeah. you so much, Kirsten. Good.